According to authorities at the Federal University Lafia in Nasarawa State, no fewer than four of its students were kidnapped on Wednesday night, an incident that prompted a protest by the students the following day. The identities of the students are yet to be ascertained. The school claims to be collaborating with the state government and the police for their rescue. Since the incident happened, the police were invited and they were here. Yesterday they were here and the state government was also informed. And everything is being done to make sure that these students are quickly returned. And we believe that will happen. However, the police say it does not have details of the incident. As far as police is concerned, there was no any formal report of kidnapping around that axis because the, we have not received any complaint from the school authority, neither from the parents of the student being alleged to be kidnapped. This is the lodge of the kidnapped students at Gandu village in Lafia. The attackers gained access through the fence after cutting the barbed wires. According to eyewitnesses, 10 students reside here, and on that day, seven of them were whisked away, but two escaped in the process. Gandu is the most popular student village among about five of them. Thousands of students reside here. Some say over 4,000, some say over 6,000, especially from 300 to 500 level one, not allocated hostel accommodation within the school premises. Gandu has locals and also business people. This business owner is a victim of incessant attacks in the area. Uh, I was at the shop by, eight, I think it was 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock in the night. Uh, all of a sudden, we just had gunshots. Two men came into the shop with guns and then cutlass. And then they started asking for money. We gave them money. And then before we knew, they started asking for who is the owner of the shop in Hausa language. So the, the students, they pointed at me. So they now dragged me and then they took me to the bush. The students who will not speak on camera say they have lost count of the number of times the community has been attacked and residents, mostly students, abducted. Governor Abdullah Hisuli, on a visit to the school, disclosed plans to improve security in the area. We will not be able to have a security post at every one of the villages. I don't know how many there are, but I understand that this particular one is a major settlement. And since it is a major settlement, we should be able to establish a, a police presence there. Security is very tight there. Stop and search. We have the synergy with other sister agencies. We have military, we have DSS, we have police, we have civil defense and other security agencies. We are working assiduously with them to be sure that that area is free from crime and criminality. The state government also instituted a curfew from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. At the moment, examinations are ongoing and expected to be concluded by December 15. The students are hopeful that before the next academic session, the state government's promise of improving security in the area would be fulfilled to guarantee their safety. Halima Agayam, Channels Television News.